through the gates of hell as we make our way to heaven through the Nazi lines. Viva Victoria! Hey guys, Dwayne here, and it's been a while since I've shot a video. I have been overwhelmed, busy, uh, going crazy. Um, however, uh, as those of you that have followed me on Facebook, you know that uh, pretty much uh, recently, I'd say over the past couple months, I've been scoring a lot of vintage gear. Um, where I work uh, is about two blocks away from the Goodwill Outlet Center. And so every day I work, uh, I leave a little early and I swing in there. And I would say about 80% of the time, I find at least something there at incredible incredible prices. Uh, basically, cassette decks, doesn't matter how old they are, uh, how new they are, whatever, cassette decks are three bucks each, um, no matter the condition or anything. Um, uh, receivers uh, and amplifiers uh, range from five to ten dollars, and CD players uh, range from three to five dollars. Uh, so, you know, uh, this morning, as a matter of fact, I posted on Facebook, I scored a set of mint condition Bose 301s. Uh, they're, they're the stage four models. Beautiful pair of speakers for three bucks for the pair. Just insane. Um, but anyway, so the reason for this video is uh, in the midst of being so busy, what free time I've had has been redoing my audio area okay my stereo components and all that uh, those of you that have followed me you know what it looked like before um, I was looking to see if I had any old pictures uh, and I don't believe I do uh, I'll have to double check when I'm done making this video but I don't think I have any old ones but anyway uh, this all kind of started with you know acquiring the old gear and things and as well as digging out my old gear that I had had from years past uh, going through it, cleaning it up, um, testing everything, and it, it's become a lot of fun. Uh, uh, it's like vintage gear rescue. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, a little over a week ago, uh, I was on my way to work, and I had been thinking about, okay, how am I going to do this? I don't have the shelving for it. I'm going to have to buy new shelving or a whole new unit, you know, to house this stuff. Well, the uh, 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 the music gods, as I'm driving to work, literally two blocks from my house, uh, we have what's called uh, Free Trash Day, which is where people can put out anything they want, like furniture and stuff like that, and our garbage service will pick it up for free. They do this twice a year. So I'm driving down the street, and here on the right-hand side of the street is this old, seven, it's totally from the 70s, like Brady Bunch style, uh, big wall unit thing, uh, solid oak. And this thing, you know, to look at it was like, oh my God, is that thing gaudy? You know, I mean, it is just uh, uh, screaming. But, but I looked, I pulled over and I looked at it and I said, you know what? I can see it. I can see this after I'm done with it and what I want to do to it. It's going to be perfect. So I have a full size pickup truck. So I, by myself, don't ask me how I did it, manhandled this thing into the bed of my truck, took it to work with me, it sat in the bed of my truck the whole day I was at work, uh, and then I got it home after work, and I got it off the truck by myself, and then Brother Dustin came by and helped me move it to my back patio behind my house. Uh, because I was going to basically disassemble the thing and paint it gloss black. And so I did, and everything is done. It's all in place. Uh, it took me an entire day to do it, as well as get all of the components in the place that I wanted. And so here's some pictures of it as I was tearing it apart um, and, and prepping it uh, for paint and all that stuff. And you'll, uh, it's just a few pictures. I'll slide them in right here so you can see the steps it went through. So uh, yeah.
connected. Uh, and then it took another day, uh, which was yesterday, to hook everything up. Uh, those that have hooked up uh, multiple pieces of stereo equipment, you know, sometimes you're kind of like, you know, you got to map it out. Okay, so if I hook this to that and so on and so forth, you know, and it's 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 kind of a a, um, a work of love, I guess, you know. So I got everything done. Uh, I'm pretty much good to go. I do have a couple more vintage pieces that I might work into the system. Um, because you know, it's, uh, I did this and now it's kind of going to be maybe fine tuning. Do I really want that unit instead of this unit? You know, things like that. So anyway, uh, here is the, uh, the new system, the new audio wall of sound and it's loud. So let's go. So, okay guys, here it is. Uh, this is the new setup. Um, uh, as you can see, this is that rack uh, that I redid. It's all painted gloss black and reconfigured everything and you know, redid the shelves and, uh, and all that. So I wasn't able to fit all my gear in here, but I chose my selected you know, favorite pieces. Um, I brought out my Sherwoods. These are uh, Sherwood S2125s. Uh, these are from 1985. Uh, my Infinities that I've always had, I love these. Uh, the Bose 301s, I just picked these up uh, this morning, as a matter of fact. Uh, so I got those hooked up, and then this is a pair of switches here. And I am running all speakers, everything's hooked up. Uh, same with all the gear, all the gear is all hooked up. Uh, I have the Pioneer down here on the bottom. Uh, I have that at Kai deck plugged into that. I don't have that turned on right now. All of the other decks are all running through the system here. Um, so, uh, and then I have a switcher around the back here where I can toggle all the different decks, uh, which is really nice. Um, if I turn it up, it will literally shake the camera. It'll, it'll blow the camera. Um, it's really loud. Uh, that's all I got to say. But uh, I don't know what else there is to say, really. Um, I do have uh, a couple of other pieces that I might work into this. Um, I'm going to play with it and see. Right now I have three turntables hooked up. Uh, this is the GLI Pro. Uh, this is the Yamaha P550. Uh, and then my my old Technics SL3200. I just cannot knock on this turntable. It is just my favorite turntable. Uh, so on the Philips preamp down here, uh, I can run two, two turntables with that, as well as one directly into my Hermit Carton amp here. Uh, so I can run all three. Uh, and then this is that... Uh, Reference 708D uh, quad reflex. This is an eight track recorder player. I've got that hooked up, uh, as well as two Yamaha cassette decks down there, and a very unique deck that I found not too long ago. That's a Mitsubishi on the bottom. Uh, that's a seven cassette changer. So the tray comes out, you put in seven cassettes, and it's kind of like a CD changer. It'll rotate those, as well as a single player on the right hand side. Uh, my Denon uh, CD, this is a DCD-1520, a uh, wonderful, wonderful CD player. Uh, this is my Sony mini-disc uh, recorder, and there's also a CD player as well. Uh, a Kenwood dual deck up on top, and my audio source EQ. Uh, this is a Techniques 60 plus 1 CD changer, uh, Techniques dual deck, and then my realistic deck up on top there. So, uh, that's pretty much the setup now. Uh, I can still get to my bases behind the rack, which is nice. I can actually reach behind and grab them, so I'm not losing anything there. Uh, I'm running in the corner over there, that's a Polk Audio subwoofer. And then, you can't see it on camera, but behind my vinyl rack right here is my Infinity subwoofer, so I'm running two subs. 
uh, self-powered subwoofers. Um, so, uh, uh, what I have noticed, I, I do have to say this, this is uh, a cool thing to do, is the three different turntables uh, completely different sound, which is uh, kind of unique. And I, I know turntables can vary in sound, but uh, we're talking night and day difference here. Uh, they're all clean, they're all clean sounding, uh, but between the cartridges as well as you know, the turntable itself, what a different sound. So uh, it's kind of unique being able to you know, switch between the three, uh, depending on you know, what I'm listening to. So uh, this is this is one of my recent finds here. Uh, this is a JVC, uh, I believe it's a KD, KBS 201, and uh, absolutely mint condition deck. And what's unique about that one is it came from England, so it was uh, set for 220. So I had to change it to 120 and find a uh, uh, a plug adapter, you know, for from the UK plug to a US uh, plug. And, uh, and there she is, and man, that is a screaming deck. Um, absolutely love it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's it. So that's the new setup. Um, it will definitely rock the neighbors. Cheers.